how do you get that mental toughness that the great authentic and purpose-driven leaders have? What are the six keys that you can apply to your life right now? The first one is become present. Become present. Actually notice where you are. Number one, notice where you are. That is your head somewhere else. Right now I'm here. I'm sitting here. I can feel the weight of my bum on the chair. Well, how are you breathing? Become present. Notice the light around you. Become totally present. Number one. Number two, become mindful. Become mindful of the emotions that you're running. Notice that emotions are transitory. Notice that emotions are moving through you. Happiness, um, sadness, anger. Those are all transitional. They're not, part, they're not permanent. None of that is permanent. So just become mindful of it. Mindful of it means don't judge it. Don't get too harsh on it. Don't say, oh, it's terrible, it's bad, or any of those things. Just notice it. Just become mindful of it. That's what it is. Number three, the third key to, be, to having that mental toughness that every purpose-driven, authentic leader has is this. Choose to be loving rather than choosing to be right. When we are hurt, when we feel the loss, when we are in pain, when, when, when shit happens, it's very easy to look out there and go, it's them, it's their fault. They did this. It's very easy to blame, but choose to be loving rather than be right. You might still be right, but you can choose to be loving. It's not about making you wrong, but you can choose to be loving. And the, the fourth key in this process follows directly in line with that choose to be loving, which is apply empathy and compassion. Empathy is putting yourself in someone else's shoes, allowing yourself to step into their reality, get a sense of what it's like for them. See, maybe they're being an asshole because they feel threatened. Maybe you are threatening them. Maybe that's not your intention. Maybe your intention is to be incredibly loving and kind, but they're reading it as a threat. So choose to be in a place of compassion as well as empathy. Empathy is to put yourself in their shoes, but compassion is, while standing in their shoes, is to do something about it, to take an action. The fifth key that all mentally tough, purpose-driven, authentic leaders live by, the fifth key, is, and that is to move into a state of gratitude. Become deeply grateful. Become grateful for the fact that you can breathe. Be grateful for the fact that your feet touch the floor in the morning when you get out of bed and that you can stand up straight. Be grateful for the fact that you have all your limbs. Be grateful for that your heart beats. Be grateful for any kindness that has been shown to you in the past, even if you can't see it in the present. Be grateful for that somebody gifted you life. Even if you had a terrible parent or terrible parents, they gifted you life. You don't have to like them. You don't have to hang out with them, but you can become grateful for the fact that they brought you into the world, that they gave you life. You can be grateful for the moments. I mean, maybe you've just come out of this horrible breakup, but you can be grateful for the gifts that were given to you inside of that relationship, for the moments of bliss that you maybe had, and maybe for the wake-up call that you're being given right now. I'm not suggesting that you're going to feel particularly grateful for that in the moment of the pain but you can go to that a little bit later. But in this moment, while you're in the pain, while the pain is calling you to be better, choose to be grateful. And the sixth key that all mentally tough, purpose-driven, authentic leaders live by is the one that I started out with, which is that they are committed to serve. Become dynamically committed to serve. Sit up. Focus on how can I serve? Who can I serve? What can I serve? Right now, what can I serve? One of the greatest cures for depression is to find a way to serve others. Find a way to serve. 